Files. Press start to begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We're back with more Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm your host, John Mugi Ward JM. Hey, buddy, I'm doing an intro here. Piss off. Jordan, as always, by my co-host, Wrangler767. No talk me, I'm Angie. So when we last left off, we finally got Aerith all dolled up, but we also got dolled up ourselves. Yeah, and, and, and now Cloud is just like, no talk me, I'm Angie. Just get this over with. Like, fuck out of here. This was not part of the deal. Oh dear God! It's just like that. Just it's to... just like that anime uh, clip that uh, where like it looks just Cloud looks just like the person like like I'm a guy, you know. It's and the, and the customer's like that doesn't matter to me. Oh boy. Here you are. Let no way. Dea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. He's like, no way. He's like, no. Nah. And even Cloud's like, yeah, I'm no you way either. The audition, second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madam M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's um, um, that a Dre's girl? I really do things to me. Room's at the do. end. Keep Sorry. This is, I hate the character, but I love his theme song. So yes, that was the scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you finally saw Cloud get all dolled up and like probably the most grandiose scene I've ever seen done in a AAA game. Yeah. Huh? Like, I thought I was watching a musical. What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. It's chloroform. Uh, come on. Damn it. Cloud. I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. I He's know, like, yeah, I know, bitch. Thank you, come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bitch, I know I'm pretty. Let's move on. Like, bitch, I'm fabulous. I know, thank you. Come on. How you doing? Shut up, baby, I know it. <laughs> oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. <laughs> no, not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get someone on one time, but then I realized 
I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. <laughs> so yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Right before we move on. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us. Oh my god. This room gives me the creeps. I'm only here for one reason. What dawn of the slums? Yep. Here for here for the songs. Fuzzy was he? Yeah, remember the kissed off animal grenades? Oh yeah. I need to get those cheap uh, mega potions though. Where do you get the cheap mega potions? Uh, here. Oh, here. Lord knows I'm gonna need them. Yeah. Now that sounds like the song from the original. So? No? <laughs> oh, there we go. Ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? <laughs> no response. Perfect answer. It's like, no talk me, I'm angry. Mm. Mm. I would have. I've also would have accepted the grunt. Mm. Was it this Kill Bill ass song? Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Mm. Uh, Scotch and Koch from the uh, costume again. Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this. I love that this sounds like the Kill Bill song. Yeah, close to it. Most eligible bachelor, legally distinct. And only Don Corneo. Lady. Uh. Nice. He Very looks like. Nice. It a Dolph Flamingo ripoff. <laughs> well, he was first. True, he was. <laughs> oh. Shall I pick you? He looks like he was the basis for the ugly Dojin man. Yeah, basically. Or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, <laughs> which one of you said that? Was it you? No. Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Ew! Lady is the big bone girl. 
Still playing hard Please to get. level him. Level him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Th th this scene's the scene with him and Cloud's good. So in the original game, he picks one of them. Oh god. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. He'll pick either one of them in the original, but I think he always picks Cloud in the remake. This gives me the creeps. Cloud handled this very well, though. What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise me more. Hey, yo, fellas. We got guests. And y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself. Never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait! Yeah. <laughs> the chair! The chair! Oh, that got meme to oblivion when this game came out. Her with the chair. Yeah. Nothing compared to you. <laughs> Eric with the steel chair. My God. My God. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. Ah, he's our man on the inside. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Because Riku's like, yeah, screw this. I'm not getting paid enough. I'm I'm waiting on the, them to call me back for KH4. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Oh, first let's check if there's any uh, goodies in here. And there is! A Molotov cocktail? Oh, All right. no. <laughs> it's like, hey, look what I found! A fire grenade! <laughs> Eris like, down with the bourgeois! It's like, we're going to torch this place to oblivion! Well, it, it fits in the theme with the game, because after all, this game is a gigantic criticism of capitalism in the first place. Basically. <sighs> this isn't Don's room. What are you doing here? Hey, you to the rejects? Well, you're about to get your ass whooped by them. One more shot. Ah, dang it. Tagging out. Let's go. Come on, Butterfingers. Ooh, we leveled up on that. Oh, that's right. Tifa hasn't been in the party for a couple of episodes, so she's getting she's getting caught up. We haven't seen her since we failed the air buster several hundred times. Oh yeah. Think it's Cloud got separated because he felt he fell to the Sector Five uh, Slums Church, and then this Corneo stuff happened. Which that all happens in the original game, so I remember it pretty well. I've played a uh, FF7 about like four or five times, beaten it twice. Um, must be just another room of goodies. No, surprisingly. I thought it was at the end of the hall. 
Uh, must be a secret door or something. Wait. <sighs> it is a secret door. <clears throat> you can hear me, right, John? Yes, I can. Okay, just... Oh, this take, this takes you back to the basement. Where you, and, oh, okay, there's a point to this. There's another thing waiting at the bottom. Otherworldly crystal. Otherworldly crystal, you said? Yeah. Oh. But judging from the icon, it's an accessory. Oh. I must have walked by it. Oh, of course, it's this door. Oh, okay. It was the door from the audition room. This is his actual room. Oh, you came back at the perfect time. Did he just laugh like Scooby? What? Did he just laugh like Scooby? Yeah. Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Okay, bet. But your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. Uh -huh. oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Goddamn right you'll talk. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> Basically threatening to was the take his balls from him. Heidegger. Mm -hmm. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? I already know the answer. What is... What is the situation that villains divulge their uh, certain their plans when they when they think they've won? Oh, they don't they don't they give you they don't give you time. Oh, I'm sorry. Time's up. The answer lies 
in the sewers. So you had to pick quickly? Yeah, but the the, the result would have been the same. Are we on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... I know who that voice is. Reeves? Yes. At least no, uh, the sure President. Morning, sir. I, know, I know the President's voice. He also was the voice of the narrator in Doom. And the, the remake. James Horan? James, James Horan? Yes. Against all... Against all things that are evil. Learn to live with it. And of course, we all know Heidegger. The one and only Don, John DiMaggio. Yes, but the president, John Horn, is, uh, is, um, hey, chapter 10, Rough Waters. Um, yeah, we're finally at a chapter 9. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in, uh, the, he's in the Doom games that, that were remade. Rip and tear until it's done. Actually, I think the narrator of the new Dooms is Darren DePaul, who was Reinhardt. I just looked it up. Let me, let me look to be sure. Dr. Samuel Hayden? Uh, hmm. Damn it, Reeks. It was the narrator for the intro. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Uh, eh, well, I'll, I'll look it up later. Um, Cause uh, my girlfriends need help. Tifa? We have to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. We want to drag Aerith into all this. You dragged yourself in. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure I've tried to get rid of her. Going on? You can see how that worked out. Because Tifa clearly has the hots for Cloud, and so does Aerith. Mm hmm Oh, God. Yeah. I forgot if you'll remember, about that. If you'll remember, after the dawn drops in the sewers, you fight this thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. Again, I yeah, Chapter 10 game. starts with a boss. Oh, I played this game, you know, 25 years ago. Hmm. Yeah, so for those who may not know, that's why it's really hard trying to recollect a lot of stuff, because last time I played this was 25 years ago. That's okay, that's what I'm here for. I've, I've played it several times, and this is my second time at Remake. Oh, hold on. Weak to fire. So you use that fire materia. Uh-oh. Give up. 
I was gonna show off Shiva, but since he's weak to fire, let's summon Ifrit. Do your thing. Summon disappear? Yeah, he had a timer in it right now. Oh, okay. when, when he runs out, he does a super move and then he leaves. Hey, still, did, did, did you put a dent in this guy? Well, remember how the battle system in this works. You have to fill the pressure meter and then you can do more damage than you're already oh, doing. Right. He does the dive thing when it comes in. Up. I should probably go up. I got it. Come here. He released the duty water. Duty. You'll feel better in a second. Can you take My over turn. for a bit? Stay strong, okay? Sorry, but you handle it. Can't do anything with it, can't do anything without it. Yep.
Hey, John. Yep. How does a Skywalker like his coffee? He likes it lukewarm. Yeah, there you go. Can you take right. over for a bit? I saw that one this morning. We've got to get through this. Sorry, just taking over a little bit. Oh god, that's scary. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Got him. Probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? 
Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche. Do you know a corporation? Destroying part of the city. What? Killing all those people just to get at us. Like, you don't think Shinra would just sacrifice a whole city just to get back at us? So she was like, bitch, do you know a corporation? Yeah. Shit just to screw with you. I wouldn't put Bitch, do you know a government? Yep. But if he was telling the truth. And Shinra is both of them? Chance he was. Yep. Isn't there? Then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Shinra's basically like G and E if they owned everything. Instead of most things. I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that place. Lead the way. All right, so now we got to race to Sector 7 and warn everybody because uh, Shinra's going to drop a plate on them and kill 5,000 people. 50,000 people, I'm sorry. Discord. Oh, the ping from Discord from you. <laughs> What's the ping? What do you mean? Like I was like I, I have a, like a one message from my Discord. It's like there it is, Simpson. The Komodo dragon in its natural habitat. Okay. <laughs> and here's another one that you'll enjoy, since you know Sesame Street things. Post it in the chat, you can refill it free. I remember not being a fan of this level. Not because it's hard, because it's easy to get lost. Um. If I remember this right, I think chapter 10 is just the sewer portion. And then there's another area we have to cross to get back to sector seven. That's chapter 11. And then when you get back to sector seven, it's chapter 12. I'm just trying to remember uh, 13 and 14. I think that's all like what happens afterwards. I know what the last two chapters are all about. Ooh. Song I know well. It doesn't do anyone good and good, so I'm gonna sell it. Did you send me another one? Yes, but this one you'll enjoy. Burnt notices the hat, but chooses not to engage Bernie since he knows it'll lead to some ridiculous shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's like, yeah, I know about the hat, but I choose not to I knew, not to engage. We don't talk about the hat in this house. Yes, we, we, we don't talk about the hat in this house. Because it will lead to bullshit. The bird. No, Ernie. The bird. No, Ernie. Shut the fuck up, Ernie. How do I look, Ernie? Move your eyes, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the trash can, Bert? Look me in the eyes and ask me that again. Why does it look like a grand cosmos when you're uh, unlocking a skill tree? What the fuck you think this know. is, Skyrim? It's, hey, it's less anxiety inducing than the fucking skill tree in Final Fantasy X. It's like clearly you massive. have not seen the skill tree from Skyrim. That actually reminds me of what I wanted to tell you uh, when uh, I shared that art with like all the Final Fantasy Pro tags and that reminded me. One of my plans this year for streaming is uh, one of my other streamer friends is doing something called Finaling the Fantasies where she's going through every major Final Fantasy. At some point in my streams, starting when the, they release those pistol remasters, I want to play all the older old Final Fantasies and then eventually get to the other ones. Um, like what older they, ones? What Which older ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. Because uh, they did remasters of 1 through 6 on Steam and uh, mobile, and they're coming to PS4 and Switch later this spring. Uh, that's right, I found that. Yeah, I forgot about that. They did do the uh, Steam remasters. Well, remasters, so, put them on Steam. Yeah, but they'll be, they'll be on consoles in spring, so I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them then. I want to play those, and I guess I could give original FF7 a, uh, a go again, because I never, I've never streamed or let's played it. Get back. Then I've never gotten past the first hour or so of eight. Oh, Same thing with I'd nine. Be able to go down memory lane with nine, ten, and eleven. Ten, ten. I've done the first ten hours or so. Eleven is online. I don't know how that would work. Twelve, I never even looked at. Thirteen, I did like the first six hours of, and that's on Xbox Back Combat, so that would be easy. And 14 is obviously just Final Fantasy Online. Yeah, but I've heard it's spectacular, but it's, it is a time and a money sink. Yeah, it is. And you and I did 15. Yeah, we did 15, so... We didn't do the DLC, but we did it. And then 16's coming out in June. Wait, 16's coming out in June? Oh yeah, there must be a lot. There must be a lot of stuff that you they got now that you don't know about then, because you didn't know about Fire Emblem and uh, no Final shit, Fantasy. John. Final Fantasy 16 is coming out in June. No shit, John. It There's a lot of shit that I don't know about. What else do I know about, John? That depends on what interests you. I don't so know. You, Why don't you, you just you, go you, down you, the list? Well, you know, Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in May, right? Yes, I know that. Um. What else? Is it safe uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is coming out in winter, dark. which I'm is sure we'll part of why I'm trying to get through this. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth. Okay, I didn't know about Rebirth. I know about Crisis Core, which is already out. I mean. Yep, and I, I beat it the, uh, a couple weeks ago. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroy it's that one's actually pretty short. Sure. Like if, if we were playing that instead, we would have beaten it by now. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. What else Corneo's is coming out this lying. year? He's gotta be. Well, there will be a Nintendo Direct possibly this week. Uh, we don't know yet, but uh, I think the signs are right because retail. Some people were reporting that retailers are getting Advance Wars available now posters shipped to their stores. Um, and uh, the last, the first Nintendo Direct of 2022 was February 9th. And Tears of the Kingdom does have a does have a confirmed release date at, in May. May, I don't remember the date specifically, but it's like, it's like mid, uh, early to mid-May. Oh, that would be amazing if it comes out around my birthday. It's after, uh, oh. that much I know. Damn it. 
but not I know it's after your birthday because it was not a single digit day. Okay. Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. And uh, well, you already know the, the, the uh, biggest release for you this year is uh, Bow Network, April. which is April fourteenth or thirteenth. And we'll be, and if all goes well, we'll be our planned series after this. As long as we chip away at this every every bit of the time, we'll we'll be fine. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'll be a miracle if it still works. We'll pick up some items if there are any left. Oh. Always chop the Shinra boxes. They have stuff in them. Oh, that reminds me. Did you ever finish off your Disney stories at all? I think you were almost done. <sighs> the last I remember is you were talking about, um... Hollywood Studios, and then you're, uh, or no, you were talking about Magic Kingdom, but I ne we never got past that. Because you did finish your Hollywood Studios day, because that was when your, um, said your, uh, nephew, like, yeah, uh, he, he, fell. he slipped and fell. Uh, well, and then you, then you started Magic Kingdom, but you never, never got anywhere because we were caught in the Wall Market shit. Well, I figure we'll have to save that for next time because looking at the counter, we're way up there, dude. Ooh, okay. You know what? This is the perfect place to stop. So next time on the Super Bonus Round, we have to leave the sewers and get to our friends before uh, uh, the rich drop the plate on us. So thank you guys so much for, for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. See ya. Eat the rich. But not this rich. Ha! <laughs>